Good morning, Firebirds. Today is Friday the 18th. I'm Caitlin. I'm Nathan, and this is Firebird Feed. Woo! <laughs> Holy moly, that was a one smart monkey. Gracias! Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Okay, and now Ryan with the weather. Hey guys, it's your weatherman Ryan here. We're gonna take a look outside and see how cold it is. It's been very cold outside and it might be snowing recently, so we'll get footage of him snowing. <laughs> Takes a big gasp. It says nothing. Welcome to Sports Roulette with Alexis and Chase. And today we are going to select a sport that we have here at Eastmark and we're going to play it for you. And hopefully, if it looks fun, you'll try it when tryouts come around. Disclaimer, I've only played baseball. And I've only played softball. So we are far from experienced. We do not know what we're doing. Now without further ado, let's go. Welcome to our Wheel of Sports. Let's spin it and see what sport we get. Looks like we got tennis. This will be a fun one. All right, now that we got tennis, let's get started. Wait, we can't go looking like this. Oh, you're right. Let's fix that. Woo, that's Whoa. much better. Now we got the drip. All right, we're here at your very own Eastmark Tennis Courts, and we're gonna play some tennis. Let's go. Normally, we would like warm up, but we don't know what we're doing anyway, so it doesn't really matter.
about it for today. We had a lot of fun playing tennis. Hopefully it looked fun for you guys too. This was Chase and Alexis. Till, Till next time. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you Alexis. It's segment time. Hi, my name is Alan and welcome to Monkey Mania. I'm Denzel. Today we have some funny monkey stories. Let's get into the mania. <laughs> First story on Monkey Mania is a classic Ikea monkey. This happened around 11 years ago. We have a quick recap. Darwin Ikea Monkey Mania was purchased by an individual named Yasmin Nakuda in Montreal. So, it's not clear how Yasmin actually got Ikea monkey, but some speculate she got it from some exotic trade. Anyways, so how did Darwin end up in Ikea? Apparently, Darwin was left in a car, then escaped, and found his way into the entrance of Ikea. Holy moly, that was one smart monkey. When Darwin arrived at Ikea, he was pretty scared. Yasmin states, this monkey cannot be away from me for five minutes without having a panic attack. Good thing nothing bad happened to Darwin as he was rescued by Story Book Farm Private Sanctuary. Let me pull a picture of Darwin real quick. See him right here? That's him. He's looking a lot better. And sadly, he does not have his little coat anymore because so obviously grown out of it. So that'll be all for Darwin and Ikea and all of his stories. So let's hear what Alan has to say. Our second story on Monkey Mania is a little bit more interesting. Around 17 years ago in April, seeing true love requested by a captain as the second smartest monkey in the world. Why do you want a monkey? True love wanted a capture monkey because they're small and could really help the SWAT team. How could this monkey be of help for the SWAT? Capture monkeys are lightweight and small, making it easy for them to get around. They also have good puzzle solving skills, so true love thinks it would be easy for them to unlock doors and find missing people. Sadly, the grant has not been accepted yet, but true love will keep requesting the grant until it is accepted. And when it is, he will give the monkey all the food, training, and gear he needs. That's gonna be it for Monkey Mania. That's all the monkeys we have time for today. Valentine's Day just recently passed on Monday, and so many people gave out so many gifts, like cards and candy. So this is our experience of what we did on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. 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 Happy Valentine's Day. Oh my god. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Arigato gozaimasu. What? Uh, th thanks very much for the candy. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, yes! Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. <laughs> Happy hey. Valentine's Day. Oh, thanks, Grace. Of course. We hope you had a great Valentine's Day, Smart. Bye. <laughs> 22 has just begun and people are deciding what their goals are. So what are your goals in life and how you can achieve them? Here are some students telling their goals. Uh, my goal for this new year is to finish one of my first short films that I'm on. Uh, my goal for the new year is to be more ambitious and be more proactive in what I'm trying to achieve. My goals for the new year um, is to love myself more and be more okay with being by myself and be more independent, learn to rely on myself and not others. And I also want to be more like confident and not doubt myself so much. It takes a lot to achieve working on a short film, I think. Um, but definitely a good way to achieve it is honestly just perseverance. 
keep working on it. It's not motivation that finishes it, it's um, discipline. Um, for one thing, I made like a checklist for myself that I check every day to make sure I got everything done that I need to do. Achieve those goals by, again, just like not doubting myself, knowing that my heart is the one that I can trust the most. Honestly, daily affirmations help a lot. Like just waking up and saying something that you're thankful for, something for just makes the day so much easier to go through. I definitely think this will help me for the future because um, I'm trying to go into college and major in film studies. Yeah. Um, you know, taking off the training wheels and just jumping onto a short film project is definitely what I need and I think it'll help me grow an experience. Absolutely, I think like having a list and having things very organized will help me in the future. Yes, I think having self-love will definitely help a lot in the future because if you don't love yourself, you can't expect you to love anything as much or love other people or other people love you as much. And so having that will help me understand a little bit more and not feel like so sorry all the time for myself. Hopefully, being a role model is fun. I don't know if I am to anyone. But it's nice talking to the other film students and kind of gauging their thoughts, you know, some of their goals, like what do you want to do? Especially being in a film class, you know, you have to have some interest in film to be in this class, so. Yeah, I think that maybe it'll start to make students think about what they want in their future, like college and career and like how you're, what steps you're going to take to get that. Yes, I think that everybody should love themselves. It makes the day easier, it makes your life easier. We had a spirit week this week, so let's look at what it looked like. Firebirds. If you enjoyed, please let us know at share.ehsfame.com. I'm Caitlin. I'm Nathan, and this was Firebird Feed.